Hi, Ben Borscht here. Let's get cooking. We're gonna crumb and fry uh, the whiting that uh, we filled it in a previous segment. And, um, you know, I think crumbing is just one of the easiest ways of uh, eating fish. Um, I don't know anyone that doesn't like a nice um, crumbed fish, especially whiting. So, uh, for these beautiful little fillets, I think uh, a nice light crumb, uh, that's just a basic bread crumb. And what we're gonna do is dredge it in. Uh, flour, egg, and then crumb it with the breadcrumbs and then fry it. Uh, we're using a nice neutral oil again, canola. Um, oil is a good one, the smoke point is very high, so um, we're not gonna burn the oil and we're not gonna burn our beautiful fish. I'm just gonna turn the stove on and um, get that oil heating up. And get a reasonably high temperature on that. We probably want it around uh, 160 to 180 degrees. Whiting is gonna cook very quickly. Um, it's such a thin fillet of fish that um, once we crumb it very lightly, all we want is for the crumb to go brown um, and we're ready to drain it off on some paper towel and eat it straight away. So we're gonna give it a, a quick dredge in the flour. We just want a very nice light coating in the flour, just covered. And we can just shake that off, shake that excess flour off. It's beautiful. And that's just gonna help the egg stick to the fish. So uh, I try and use one hand uh, for my wet ingredients. So my right hand now will just be for the egg. And I'll be putting that into the breadcrumbs and then using my left hand, uh, which is my dry hand, just to coat it in the breadcrumbs. Give it a little pat. I want to get it nice and coated. And while that oil's heating up, we'll just uh, put it back on the plate and do our other fillet. So with my dry hand into the flour, a little dredge in the flour, not too much, just a nice light coating into the egg mixture. And then using my right hand, my wet hand, just getting that nice and coated in egg. Drain that egg off and into the breadcrumbs. I just want to check the oil uh, if it's ready to fry. Obviously, you're not going to go sticking your finger in there. You can get a thermometer and check for the temperature, but I find just picking out a little um, clump of breadcrumb and chucking that into the oil. If it starts bubbling up straight away, we should be pretty right to start frying immediately. So we'll just get one of our lovely whiting fillets and that's bubbling immediately. So that's exactly what we want. That's probably a nice temperature there. I'll throw some other fillets that I uh, crumbed earlier in, um, just so we've got more than two. You know, it's uh, a little bit light on. I'm sure the average adult would easily eat a couple of these whiting fillets on their own. The fillets have only taken about, oh, I don't know, 45 seconds. And you know, uh, you just want that lovely golden uh, crust on the crumb. Uh, you definitely don't want to let them burn. Um, very easy to overcook this uh, very delicate fish. But you want to make sure that crumb is, is nice and crusty as well. Nice and golden.
And there we go, we'll plate up nice and generously. Well, there we go. Beautifully crumbed and fried whiting with our homemade tartare sauce, a couple of wedges of lemon. I think all you need now is a beer. Thanks for joining me. You can find all my recipes at benborscht.com.au.